Okay, this is yet another in a series of videos I'm making for setup.com and uh, this, this is just a series of instructional videos where we show you how to do some basic things using the PFSense firewall. And in the previous video, I covered how to use scheduling to enforce rules at some times but not other times. And in this video, I'm just going to expand on that and show uh, scheduling uh, in action a little bit more and first I'm going to, to log into the firewall so I'm just going to type in the username and uh, password so I'm going to log in here and so first I'm going to go to firewall rules so I'm going to go click on rules here and I'm going to click on the LAN tab and here you can see that the uh, rules that that we created during the previous videos are are still in effect here. So in other words, we have uh, there's a YouTube rule here, but this is disabled. And then the next rule is allow slash dot during lunch hour, but block slash dot at other time all other times. Um, and then we have default allow land to any rule and default allow land IPv6. To any rule. So let's assume that we only want to block uh, slash dot during uh, work hours, which is 9, 9 p.m. Uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So um, we'll go to firewall schedules and we'll click on schedules here. And you can see our, our previous uh, our previous uh, schedule entry is still here you know, for lunch hour, so I'm just going to uh, let's let's uh, click on the plus button here to add a new schedule, and I'm going to call this uh, work hours. Or how about work time? We'll call it work time. Um, the normal working hours. And so that's the schedule name and description. And again, we're only going to enforce it on weekdays. So I'm going to click on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And the start time is going to be nine hours zero minutes again we're working in military time so the the stop time will be seven seventeen hours zero minutes and for the time range description is i'm going to say uh working hours i'm going to put 9 a.m to 5 p.m and I'm going to click on Add Time. And now we have a new entry here for working hours. So I'm going to click on Save. And notably here, we could, we could add another configured range. So if we wanted to, we could add, say, I don't know, let's say we have another, sh another shift is Saturdays 9 a.m. to... to um, to 1 p.m. So we could do, let's say, uh, yeah, let's do that. And we'll, we'll click on Saturday, and we'll do start time will be uh, nine hours, uh, zero minutes, and the stop time will be 1,300 hours uh, zero minutes and we'll call this Saturday work hours and we'll click on add time here okay so now we have two different ranges for for this and we'll click on save to save it and now we have the defined ranges here 
set up for this rule. And now we can go back to firewall and we'll scroll down, we'll go down to rules here and click on rules. And again, we'll click on the LAN tab. And now we'll change the block slash dot rule so it only applies during, during working hours. We'll go to edit. And so we clicked on edit just to go back here. Uh, again, we 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 went to the block slash dot rule. There's there's an E button on the, to the right of the, of the description block slash dot rule. We clicked on, clicked on that, and now we get to edit the rule. And we'll go down to scroll down to advanced features and schedule, and we'll click on advanced and. Says leave is none to leave the rule enable all time, but we only want to enforce during work time. So we'll scroll, we'll go to the drop down box and select work time. And now we'll cl click on save. And now the block slash dot rule is only enforced during uh, working hours. And we need to do, oh, by the way, uh, if you have a proxy that that's, an, you have an alternate method of blocking certain websites, which you might find more efficient than what we're doing here, but we'll co I'll cover that in a separate video. So right now we want to click on apply changes to apply the changes here. And let's open up a separate tab here and try to access slash dot it should still be unaccessible since the time here is 4 20 p.m so it's still work hours so we'll click on uh slash dot and it's just uh the the uh trying to connect and just, so it looks like it's still blocked because it's not connecting to slash dot dot org and so we'll go back here and so we have this set up. So, you know, now we're, we have one website here blocked. We could block others. Let's say we want to block Reddit. We could go to, we could again, uh, using the procedure that we showed in a previous video, we could go to Diagnostics, DNS Lookup, and then we do the DNS Lookup on Reddit. Type in reddit.com, click on DNS Lookup here. And it should uh, should re return all the uh, IP addresses for Reddit. And uh, let's see, it's looking up Reddit. So yeah, there we go. We we so we have a whole mess of uh, IP addresses for Reddit. So we at the bottom of the column here it says create alias out of these entries. So let's create an alias. So we click on that and. Then once that's done, we have an alias for reddit.com. And then we can we can create our rule. And now that we have one rule uh, set up to block a website, it's, it's very easy to go in and, and create additional rules. So we go back to firewall. Well, first of all, let's go to firewall aliases. And so we see our rule for Reddit. And we'll... Click on rules here, and how about okay? Let's go to let's go to the land tab. So we click on land, and let's create another rule based on the slash dot rule. So we go to block slash dot rule. To the right of it, there's a plus sign here. Add a new rule based on this one. So we can go in, click on the plus sign, and we leave we we'll leave everything the same. Except we'll change the address. So let's uh, let's uh, get rid of the address for a slash dot, and we'll start typing in Reddit. And immediately the Reddit .com, dot com alias pops up, and we'll change the description here to block Reddit rule. So here we go, Reddit, and we'll click on. And and um, this should be set up to to be enforced only during work time. So 
but we're not going to change that. So we'll click on save. And now we should have Reddit block too. Well, actually, we have to apply changes. So we'll click on that. Apply changes. Um, and so we'll go to a separate tab here and we'll try to access Reddit. And it looks like it's blocked too. So there you go. Okay, now one one thing here. We might want to allow access to Reddit during lunchtime too. So, uh, but do we really want to create a, a separate rule for to allow uh, Reddit during lunch hour? Maybe we just want the thing to do would be to just allow anything during lunch hour. Uh, well, that, you know, I don't depends upon what your you know what what you want your policies to be. But I think it would be easier just to allow anything during during lunch time, uh, rather than create a separate rule to make an exception each time. So I'm going to edit the allow slash dot during lunch hour rule here. So let's click on that, click on the E next to it. And we'll say, uh, let's see, pass. So we'll just set it up uh, any, says single host or alias, we'll, we'll We'll select we'll select any in the drop down box, and and we'll change this rule to allow access to anything during lunch hour rule, and we'll click on save here. And uh, we need to do apply changes. So we'll click on apply changes here. And now uh you know we have access to anything during lunch lunch hour. And again, you know, we can demonstrate that this works by uh going back to schedules here and changing the time of, of lunch hour. Um we can go and edit. And change this to, let's see, this is the lunch hour. So we change this to uh, 1600 to 1700. Um, and we'll do add time. And we'll do save. And now we should be able to access Reddit. So let's go back. We'll do Reddit. Um, And yes, we can access Reddit now. And we should be able to access slash dot too. So we can open up a separate tab. And then go back. We can go back here. Slash dot is, is loading. So that worked. So we'll go back and we'll edit the this rule again so that it actually uh, applies to to uh, lunchtime and not, not the current time. So we'll, we'll go in and change this back to the way it was before and save it and now these these uh, these pages should not load anymore um this is loading because because uh because firefox cache it but now okay now it's hanging up again so it's not loading anymore so that seems to work so there we just demonstrated uh more options for scheduling and as i said if you want to block a whole bunch of websites, it's probably easier to to, um, to use a proxy. And just to demonstrate that, I can show uh, some of the options for Squid Proxy. Um, so we go to Proxy ser Services and went clicked on Proxy Server, and there's a Access Control here. So there's a click on the Access Control tab, and uh, they they have sites that you can whitelist or blacklist you can enter your sites to the blacklist but we'll cover that in a separate video uh, i just wanted to show uh you know how more scheduling options here so uh if you find this video helpful uh you might think about checking out my website pfsenseetup.com for more pfsense information and tutorials